Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking high performance and open source router. It is done by a company called Taurus and it is modeled Omnia. This bad boy comes with 2 GB of RAM and it comes with 8 GB internal storage. That's not the only thing. It comes with two wireless parameters. Number one, it comes with integrated compacts WLE900 VX Wi-Fi card, which will give you the 2.4 and 5G network in a little bit better speed. And it also comes with integrated compacts WLE200 N2. And that is another Wi-Fi card. Now, I have to mention that this do come with the processor called Marvel Armada 385 that runs on 1.6 gigahertz. Before we go next, I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon, select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. All right. So you can see that the box is really nicely designed. It has a little sleeve. We take that out. And then we have to open the box itself. And take everything one by one out. And here are all the components that are part of this box. So the first thing that we're going to look at is going to be the user manual. Now here's the best part. It has their name, the model name, and also it says high performance open source router and all of the different languages that is available. And the next thing is that it comes with three of these antennas. The best part is that you can interchange these antennas. You can buy a bigger one and you can hook it up. But the ones that comes with it is very, very big, which we will connect in a few seconds. And there are three of them. It also comes with this RJ45, or we call it Ethernet cable. It does not say if it's a Cat5 or Cat6, but it is about a meter long. Now here's the best part. The one that I received, it comes with this power brick, which is 12 volt, and it is 3.33 amps. And I have to mention that this goes in the middle. This part will be connecting to the actual router to get the power. The connector part of it, they have sent me two of them. I am sure that when you receive, you will receive the proper one. So this is created for Canada, United States. And this part will be connecting to the actual power. And they also sent me another one. This one is for overseas. And this one is a little bit different. But we're going to keep this. And the one we're going to use today is going to be for Canada and United States when we are going to hook it up. It really makes them stand out as it comes with this little plate and it is from metal. And you can see that it has spots so you can hook it up to the wall and the little screws to hook up the actual router right on top of it. So that way it will be right in the wall very easily so that way you're not going to make it move. That's not the only thing. It also comes with this little plastic that has some little screws inside of it i do not want to take it out too and here is the big moment the router itself this is how it really looks i really like that design in the front going on the side of it all the ventilations the connections in the back we will capture these and we will cover this in a few seconds but let's just go through from the top so it has their logo nicely on the top and it is metal it is not made out of anything else and you can see the way that they have designed it they have flipped one inside and one on the top. I really like this. And then you have the USB 3.0. And then you have the power. And all of the LAN connections. The internet connections. So you can see what's going on. You have PCI 1, PCI 2, and 3. And also you have AB connection. And then you also have a little button. Going on the side of it, you have a lot of holes for ventilation. There you go. And then going on the back part of it. The top parts, these are for the antenna, which we are just connecting it in a few seconds. You have the DC power. You have four LAN connections, which are, these are all gigabyte. You have one extra right here. And you also have a WAN connection or WAN. This is how your internet going to go input. You also have the SFP connection. 
This will also going to really help you out if you have another router connected and you have the USB 3 connection in the back. Now this is also going to be used so you can connect your external hard drive or if you want to do some software update this will really help you out. There are little two connectors so that way you're not going to damage it when you are pushing it against anything and there is a little button in the back too right in the middle that also going to be handy when you need it. Now going in the bottom part of it you have these little rubber legs. It is really cool when you put it on the ground so it doesn't move and then when you look at it you have a nice sticker. All of the information that you require is going to be right in the bottom. Now hooking up the antenna should be very easy. You just have to put it on top and just roll it till it is all the way at the end. And that's about it. And then just bring it up. Now do the same thing for the next one. You do not have to really turn it from the antenna itself, just right at the end. And then once it's done, just bring it up. And then same thing for the last one. And there you go. That's how easy it is to hook it up. So we're going to connect the connectors first. And then the power. Then we're going to connect the actual power connection in the back. And then the internet wire to the actual part that says WAN. W-A-N. And then we're going to flip it in the front. And as you can see, it's already getting connected. Everything is there. Now process to go through and set this up is a breeze. You just have to read the screen and you have to click next. And it's very easy to follow. Just remember one thing that when you are trying to set this up and you scroll all the way in the bottom and you type everything into it or you select your settings, the next button is not on the bottom, it's on a top. So you have to select it properly and go next to set this up. Now this is the main router software that comes with it. But there is a little part as I'm showing you right now is for the update. When you select that and you select all the features that you want, once it is all installed and it reboots itself and goes back, then you're going to get access once you boot it up so you can switch between software. You want to use the main one or you want to use the secondary. And here you go, I connected my thumb drive to this and you can see uh, that how easy it is to set it up. You can also use the little button in the front to dim down the light. So this way in the middle of the night, you don't want that light to really bother you. This is how you can fix it. Now to test this out, I had to move a computer to another one because that computer only connects up to 10100. But just to get some of this stuff done, we use that. And here you go, this is a new PC and we are connected right now. This one has a gigabit LAN connection in which we already connected. So let's just go through and connect. Go to see exactly what type of network speed we're getting when you hook it up via LAN connection. And voila, you can see it's really nice number right now. We're getting exactly what we are looking for. Remember, it's a gigabit. It's up to a gigabit. And when you have a gigabit internet, you cannot go higher than this number. So that's telling me that this router does the work properly. My upload rate is 30 megabit. And you can see it's exceeding. It goes a little bit over on the 30 megabits. Now, just to double check, we will click one more time on it. And then we're going to connect us exactly what numbers we're getting for download one more time. And you can see now it is about 700. Hey, there you go. It went back to 800, which is perfect. So that's telling me that this network itself, the way that it is set up, and also I'm using DHCP to connect this. It's working perfectly. And here is another task for the upload part, and that's the number we got. So to test this out with a gigabit LAN, we connected our laptop, and this is how it really looks. We changed the background, and here you go. Let's just click on it to see exactly what type of numbers we're getting out of it. And remember that we do have a gigabit LAN connection. And now it is just going over 600, it should be reaching almost seven to 800 megabits, but it depends. It's up to a gigabit, so it's not really fully gigabit. But here's my first number, and here's my upload rate. So it is maximized on 30 megabit. 
but again it can go a point up or a point down right now we're getting 31.54 now this is the first test we always do it twice so that way we can get accurate informations all the time so here's my second time this is my download rate you can see that it exceeded from before it's about 680 now so it should be going up to 800 but again it depends how many people are connected what they're using it for and when it comes to upload there's a lot of people that do not upload right away so that's why the numbers are always exceeding which is 31.79 this time so it's way better than before all the links where you can order it from will be available in the bottom of this video except that i hope you guys like our video if you do like it click the click the like button subscribe button on the top comment on the bottom always remember to visit our own website which is xctext.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter instagram and other social networking places and thank you